good morning students so today we will discuss after the second world war that uh, peace keeping organization united nation organization was established so in detail i will discuss what is the history the league of nations was the pre predecessor of the un it was founded in 1909 and was responsible for ensuring peace and cooperation between world nations the term united nation was introduced in 1942 by winston churchill and franklin d roosevelt and founded on 24th of october 1945 when the charter of un came into force just as you know after the first world war league of nation was formed but it was failed because of some flaws some nations they did not care about the rules and regulations and big nations the members of league of nation they were they did not care about it that is why other nations also left it and the result came out in the form of rise of fascism and nazism and later on the second world war so flaws were there in front of them and now again they started thinking of a new peace keeping organization in the name of united nations so what were the need for the establishment of the united nation organization disastrous world wars what does it mean that so many wars you have already read about two wars it was already over and the world was reeling under the problems of displaced people atomic explosions explosions and the shattered cities the list could go on the second world war was a self created catastrophe which no one wanted to repeat the world leaders began to think of ways to stop any recurrence of such a conflict they wanted to create a political environment of permanent world peace failure of league of nations just as you came to know in the previous chapter the flaws why the league of nation was failed because usa did not join the league it had no army of its own to enforce the resolutions that were taken by it then there was a imbalance means the victorious nation gave too much power above upon themselves and when japan annexed manchuria italy conquered abyssinia and germany annexed australia no action was taken by them so obviously the league of nation failed Uh, then there was a fear of the third world war because some nations they started gathering different types of new technical weapons so obviously they feared that there may be the third world war so we should establish a peace of organization division of the world in two power blocks just as you read at the end of the second world war germany was taken by the two big nation usa and ussr and the blocks were the capitalist block and the communist block then comes destructive weapons the atomic bombs dropped on the two japanese city hiroshima and nagasaki shook the conscience of the whole world the creative ability of men for self destruction and the use of weapons concern every human being it became necessary to formulate a world organization to control the invention and production of new age weapons which threaten the survival of mankind now failure of league of nation i have told you but here also some points are there you can go through with that now the origin of the us the london declaration in 1941 it was signed by attended by britain canada australia new zealand and south africa then they signed the atlantic charter 
who signed us president roosevelt british prime minister churchill they passed the atlantic charter in atlantic conference in new found land now the main points of this one word were maintain international peace and security encourage international cooperation in the social and economic cultural sphere promote social rights and the self determination of all nations and people and to develop friendly relations among the nations last point the recognize the fundamental rights of all the people so these were the main points on which they wanted to base this organization then in the washington declaration this was discussed and decided not to sign any further treaties to hold separate ta talks with enemy countries in moscow declaration which was attended by ussr usa china and uk in october 1943 China also met here first time, and they discussed about this uh, full plan of UN. The Button Oak Conference, nineteen forty-four. It is very important because first time the blueprint was drawn here. Means in which way we have to start this organization. The Yalta Conference. This is this was. Uh, attended by roosevelt churchill and stalin three big leaders that is why sometimes it is known as big three conference also here all the main points were discussed the focus was mainly on a reconstruction of nations conquered by germany despite the two diametrically opposed opposite ideological views of usa and ussr I told you regarding the capitalist and communist bloc. Capitalist was led by USA, and the communist bloc was led by USSR. Means it it is it was very clear that there was uh, ideological differences between them. Then comes the last one, San Francisco Conference in 1945, where 50 countries participated in the meeting. Which lasted till June 26, 1945. Charter was discussed and signed by 50 countries, but it came into effect on 24th of October, 1945. Then, same again. If you want to read regarding what happened in San Francisco, it is given here. now these are very important they can be asked in the form of short questions headquarters are in new york city official languages arabic chinese english french russian spanish at present 192 states are there leaders or secretary general ban ki moon now it has been changed now president of general assembly srijan karen then establishment on 26 june 1945 to replace the league of nations to stop wars between nations and to provide a platform for dialogue now objectives these are the four objectives as it is you have to learn to maintain international peace and security to develop friendly relations among nations to achieve international cooperation and the last one to be a center for harmonizing the actions of nations principles are all member states have sovereign equality they should obey the charter countries must settle their differences by peaceful means they must avoid using force or threatening to use force UN will not interfere in the domestic or internal affairs of any of the country, and the country should try to assist the UN. Languages you have already studied. Now this is the flag of UN. Any member who wants nation who wants peace, it can be the member, and uh, the decision of the General Assembly that is recommended by the Security Council. 
Now these are the six organs. Here I must tell you that you see here General Assembly, Security Council, International Court of Justice. These three are in your flavor. In the starting, these three also were there, Economic Social Council, because economically and socially they needed help. Trusteeship, because they lost the trust and secretariat. At present, these three are not working. Now come General Assembly. This is simply a picture for you. All the members of UNO automatically become the members of General Assembly. Regular sessions they had. How? It starts from third Tuesday of September and continues until the third week of December. Here, one president and 21 vice presidents are chosen for each session, which are decided alphabetically. Means the names of the countries are written alphabetically, and according to the alphabets, the presidents and the vice presidents are chosen. Main functions assigning member countries and deciding the budget, where here only they can meet together to discuss their problems. Convenes annually in September, voting on important question or recommendation on peace and security. Very important point, budgetary concerns and the election, admission, suspension or expansion of members is by two-thirds of majority because they are the very important functions. Now, Security Council, it maintains international peace and security it has permanent members five china france russia uk usa they have the, the veto power the veto power means that if these five nations these five among these five anyone will say no then the decision cannot be finalized then non-permanent members, they are chosen for two years. Same thing alphabetically. And uh, if among them anyone says no, okay, it doesn't matter. But here in the permanent members, if anyone says no, it will not be decided. The presidency rotated alphabetically each month. And the most powerful organ of the UN, the authority to issue binding resolutions to member states. India soon to get veto means India also is going to join the permanent member. It is the most powerful organ. It, it deals with threats to international peace. Again, the permanent members are given for you. Now the functions. Minimum code have to be learned to maintain international peace and security. To investigate any dispute among the countries which will lead to the international friction, recommend methods of adjusting such a dispute, formulate plans for the establishment of a system to regulate armaments, to recommend the admission of new members to General Assembly, to recommend the General Assembly the appointment of Secretary General and together with the assembly to elect the judges of the International Court of Justice. Now here, here, where the International Court of Justice is located. It is the principal judicial organ, began working in 1946. It has uh, 15 members, judges, those who are elected for nine years by General Assembly and Security Council. And after every three years, they have elections for one third of seats. Facilitating cooperation in international law, international security, economic development, social progress, human rights, achievement of world peace, to stop wars between countries and to provide a platform for dialogue. Now, Economic Social Council, it is not in your flavor, but you should know that 54 members who meet twice a year and uh, it function in the form of numerous committees and a commission. They have the specialization uh, agencies just as ILO and WHO. 
It coordinates economic and social efforts between UN. 54 members elected for three year terms and each member has a single veto. A resolutions of ECOSOC are recommendations on social, cultural, educational and health related matters. Trusteeship because that was the time when the nations lost the trust. So it was responsible for supervising the administration of trust territories placed under the trusteeship system. Major goals were to promote the advancement of the inhabitants, trust territories and their progressive development towards the self-government or independence. The aims of the trusteeship have been fulfilled to such an extent that all trust territories have attained self-government means those who were not independent, now they are independent. That is why the work is over or you can say the council suspended operation on 1st of November 1994 with the independence of Palau, the last remaining United Nations Trust Territory on 1st October 1994. Means every nation got independence, so the trusteeship council work was over. Now this is the last one, Secretariat, uh, the Chief Administrative Office of the UN. It is composed of Secretary General and an international staff appointed by him. Its main function is to coordinate and supervise the activities of the UN organ. So my dear children, here the chapter is completed. And the next thing UN agencies we will discuss later on.